Hey there, Louis Acabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a delegate in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to delegate your task assignments and approvals and other items in ServiceNow, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on your name or your profile picture at the top of the interface. And then you want to go ahead and click on profile. Next, you want to scroll down and you want to click on the delegates tab. Next, you want to go ahead and click on new. And this is going to bring up the delegate Form. And this is where you can come to actually set a delegate. Now, to do that, you want to go ahead and select the person that you want to delegate your approvals and assignments to. Now, I'm going to go ahead and select my colleague here. And then you want to go ahead and put in your start and end date. So that is the period in which any approval requests or task assignments will automatically be rerouted to the person that you are delegating to. Now, I'm going to just make my delegation here last for a day. I'm going to select my start and my end date. And then the last step is to select what you would like to delegate. Now, if you receive approval requests for items in ServiceNow, then you want to make sure that you check approvals. Assignments is essentially task assignments and other incidents and things that can be assigned to you in ServiceNow. So if you want those to be auto routed to this person, then check that. You can also set notifications to be routed to your delegate and meeting invitations if you are using ServiceNow to manage that. Now, once you've filled out this form, you want to go ahead and click Submit. And if you scroll down and click on the Delegates tab, then you are going to see the delegation that you've set up. And you can see here the start, end date. You can see the individual to whom you're delegating. And then you can see which of those options you've set to be delegated. Now, if you wanted to amend this, all you need to do is click on any one of the fields here. So I'll go ahead and click on the start date. And that's going to bring me back into that delegation record. And you can see here that I can easily change any of these things. So if I go ahead and uncheck meeting invitations and click update, then when I scroll down here, you can see that I've now amended that delegation record. Now, one other note, I'll just click back into my delegation here. If you wanted to delete a delegation entirely, then you can just go ahead and click the delete button and that will delete this delegation. Request. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and assign items to this individual here, Bart Hatchie, so that you can see what that delegation looks like in action. All right, now what I've done here is I've gone ahead and I've created a new catalog task now, I want you to pay attention to the individual selected in the assigned to field. So you can see here that I have assigned this task to the individual who just set up the delegation. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to submit this and then I'm going to impersonate Able Tutor, who is the user to whom Bart delegated task assignments and approvals. And what we're going to see is that Able will be able to view this task and then actually action it even though it's assigned to BART. Now I'll go ahead and click submit and you can see here that that task assignment was created. Now I will go ahead and impersonate ABLE and next I'm going to search for tasks and I'm going to click on tasks in the service catalog and you can see here in the list of tasks that are visible to this user you can see here specifically this task we just created and I'll click into it. And you can see here that even though it's assigned to Bart, because Bart set up a delegation and selected Abel as his delegate, Abel can actually come in here and action this task. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a delegation in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.